Edward Reeves was 35 years old. He was from Christchurch in Dorset and his body was found on the 4th of January 2022, four days after he was murdered inside his flat. He was a talented musician, his father told the newspaper, but he made the choice that evening that he died to take a gang of children, three girls and two boys, aged 16 at the time, back to his home to celebrate New Year's Eve. He had a lot of expensive music equipment in his home and the police learned that the two 16-year-old boys tormented him and also damaged his property before stealing from him as well. And it later culminated in his brutal murder. At the end of October in 2022, a judge at Winchester Crown Court determined the two boys, now aged 17, could be named by the media after they lifted reporting restrictions. Video footage showed the moment that James Hindley and Samuel Roy Jones celebrated and also reenacted the stabbing that they participated in inside the flat. Both of these two young men were walking around with knives and they were trying to show off clearly and things escalated very fast. Hindley and Jones inflicted multiple stab wounds upon the 35 year old before leaving him to bleed out inside his property. Today they have been jailed for a minimum of 18 years each. Detectives investigating the murder trawled through CCTV footage and it showed the defendant's movements on the night of the attack. And it even showed them going inside the shop where they met the victim that would become Edward Reeves. The Crown Prosecution Service showed the court the footage and in the first clip Hindley and Jones were seen entering Walkford stores before they went to Mr Reeves' address on December the 31st. The video highlights a JD sports bag carried by Hindley and this was highlighted several times during the prosecution's case. Another clip shows them on New Year's Eve and the two boys both aged 16 heading back towards the shop and leaving Mr Reeves critically injured inside his home. Other CCTV footage also showed that Hindley went back to the property on the 3rd of January so this was the day before the police found him and they believed that he was going to steal more property. Judge Sweeney said in court that it was a horrific ordeal that Edward Reeves was subjected to and he endured it in his own home. He had mental health issues and also struggled with drugs and he met the group of young people outside the shop on the 29th of December. He invited them back to his home where they socialised together and consumed alcohol and drugs. The judge also said Hindley stole a very expensive computer tower and the court heard how Hindley and Jones had bullied Edward Reeves and also accused him of being a paedophile and a weirdo. On the 31st of December, just before 8pm, Hindley and Jones and three other females attended Walkford stores before going to Edward Reeves' home address. While they were inside, the group went upstairs to where the music equipment was and the two defendants became angry and started to punch holes in the wall. The three girls that was with them said that they tr told them to stop and they left shortly after. Hindley and Jones, who were both armed with knives, remained at the property where they carried out the brutal attack on Mr Reeves and left him seriously injured. The judge said that Edward did nothing to deserve what you did and following the next eight minutes or so, you repeatedly stabbed him inside his home. The post-mortem revealed that Edward tried to defend himself and he was stabbed eight times. And he was stabbed in his face and this caused his eye to collapse. Edward made desperate attempts to flee from the boys but he later bled out and died inside his home. Hindley and Jones then left the property and caught up with the girls and they all walked to the train station together. The kids were excitedly bragging to the three girls that they'd just stabbed Mr Reeves and they laughed and hugged each other before posing for a photograph. The boys then went to discard the murder weapons and one of the knives was given to one of the girls by the defendant. Edward's body would not be found for several days and the investigation by the major crime unit that followed revealed how he died and also the cause of death. The judge at the sentencing commended Dorset Police and said that the investigation was conducted with a high professional standard. Detective Chief Inspector Simon Huckstar said, I would firstly like to send my condolences to the friends and family of Edward Reeves. I hope the sentencing today provides his loved ones with some comfort. I would also like to thank everyone from Dorset Police who was involved in the investigation and also the Crown Prosecution Service for their role in the convictions and sentencing. He said this was an abhorrent crime and this man's life was taken and these boys will now spend the vast majority of their adult life in captivity.
so this story I feel hasn't had a lot of discussion there is not a lot of people talking about it and also the real realities of the fact that these children were just carrying knives around with them casually and were very clearly trying to show off being as they admitted the murder to the girls straight after committing it so I really want to hear what people have to say on this story. Don't forget to follow online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.